Hey everyone, this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com and I just wanted to showcase one of the um, major plantings that we installed up here at our upper garden and uh, it gets a lot of sun. In the past we have tried to grow squash with varying degrees of, of success. The very first year when we grew it, it was super and the follow-up years were just pretty bad. We got eaten up with the squash vine borer pretty seriously, and um, it just, you know, it, it was not good. <laughs> this year, we decided to try going with some genetics here in planting a uh, squash that's, it's sort of a hybrid. It's, um, it's a cross between the butternut and another, I think it's called the Kakashka. I'll put up a little graphic if, if I'm wrong on that. But it's called the Tetsukabuto. And it's a pretty amazing kind of pumpkin-like critter. If you look at it right here, it's got a um, nice round shape. Sometimes the color varies. It could be green. We have another one up here above it that has some pretty nice striping on it. But I just wanted to showcase, oh, and, and this is pretty pretty typical of the size, but I just wanted to showcase for you guys what we have here in terms of the growth factor. So I'm standing in an uh, arbor, an archway, that's been created by cattle panels, which you know we're a big fan of. And this one particular arch has been covered with squash the Tetsukabuto squash, and a little bit, a, a few we have down here. You can see we have a few of the um, butternut growing down in here, okay? And they're kind of growing along the, the lower level. They say you need to plant them both in order to get a good cross fertilization to uh, apparently set the, the fertility for the Tetsukabuto. But as you can see, now these guys are, are sort of growing on the outside. They're, they're supported actually by the grid here. This, this, this one here is just kind of grown into the wire somewhat. I'm gonna take, take us outside and show you how this thing is growing. It's pretty amazing. You look down here along this, uh, this pathway, you'll see this side is covered in leaves up the top and then further up I'm trying to get this picture right see right up here <laughs> there's a this is taken off over the roof of what we call our stove house where we keep our um, our water stove and we also store things up up in here but look this thing is taken off from the top of the archway and has climbed up the roof. It, it's got a pumpkin over here. And if you'll bear with me, right behind me here, it's kind of whiting out a bit, but the thing is, it has come and it's, it's moved off the edge of the roof. It crossed over the roof and now has trailed down. And we actually have a pumpkin on this side of the roof. I call them pumpkins because that's what they look like mostly. Although the, the definition in, in the literature calls them a squash, but it's trailing down over there. Now, the other spot, okay, not only did it go over the roof, and I don't know how well you can see this per se, but there is a pumpkin right up there in the gutter. You see where it's been out? So The vine is growing everywhere, so I had to cut it off. So go under our, uh, our hot water solar panels here, and I didn't much like that. And I think it would have kept growing and, and set fruit, but it's been an amazing plant. And yes, it has been quite resistant to that nefarious squash vine borer, the SVBs. It's done a pretty good job with um, keeping out the, the um, powdery mildew. We have, we have a little bit of powdery mildew here and there. So here you go, here is a still photograph of the arbor with the big pumpkin in front and up there on the roof you can just make out in the red circle a pumpkin growing on the roof. And we also have another 
feature over here of a pumpkin. Actually, this is the one that grew over the roof, and now we have a uh, squash pumpkin growing down from the gutter. Pretty amazing plant, darn vigorous. Well, if you all have had any experience with vine crops like this, please send us a comment. See us up there on Facebook. Write a comment up there. Also, we invite you to subscribe and also click on that bell to receive alerts. So this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. Have a great rest of the season, guys. So long.